Hi everyone. Welcome back. This is episode two of my family's photo box. Um, I'm doing this so I can show off some pictures I have and maybe have some laughs about things that have happened in the past and maybe some tears too. Um, so welcome to, to the show. Um, I have a few pictures I want to show you. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is, this is me. Uh, probably we were still in Texas, me and my dad, and, and I don't know where my mom was in the story. She, she left whenever I was young. So I think this was probably 1976. Um, I'm in my parents' bedroom. For some reason, I remember this trailer that we lived in so well. And I was just a baby. So this is the my parents' bedroom. Um, and uh, look how cute I was. Anyway, I think we lived in, where did we live? Freeport area in Texas. Not long after this, we moved to Louisiana. So that's me when I was just a little baby. This picture is interesting because it's probably 1987. The location is my grandmother's um, house. Um, and this is the little bedroom I stayed in. The, the, the memory here is that these Barbie dolls, I had 51 Barbie dolls by the time I was like 14. I had this huge Barbie house. I just collected them at some point. She maybe changed her clothes sometimes. These cigar boxes are full of their accessories, maybe their clothes, their shoes. But these were the, some of my oldest Barbies and Jesus, look how they're dressed. Look at this guy's hair. Ugh. Wow. It's like 1970s Barbie in the 80s. Anyway, that was, those were my Barbies. And if I remember straight, this Barbie right here was Roller Skate Barbie. I think I got it. When, when it she was my very first Barbie. And her feet twisted weird and her hands twisted weird. But anyway, she was my first Barbie. She was with me my whole life. I gave my Barbies to my girls when her, <laughs> they were like in seven, eight years old. They did not care for them. I was like, oh, anyway, this is my son, Tristan, and our horse. Um, yeah, my ex-husband liked to buy animals and have animals, but he really didn't like to take care of them a lot. So it wasn't very often that we rode this horse. Uh, he was kind of difficult to manage. Um, and, but, you know, every once in a while the kids would get to ride him and they did enjoy having the horses there. This is in the, um, on our property in Oretta, Louisiana. We always had, you know, we, I really enjoyed the property there because it was just, it, it just was so good to be close to nature all the time. It was very quiet though. And, um, but then Oretta, if you know Oretta, Oretta can be, um, very country like, and it can be, um, people don't take care of their things very well sometimes. So you get a lot of trashy kind of things like this. Uh, we lived in Oretta for about, um, well, I raised the kids there from like 2001 to 2013, and they enjoyed the land. Cheyenne did especially. Um, this is me. I love this picture. It's of me and Reese. Reese is probably four or five in that picture, and he's on my back. He was always a chunk. He was like a brick. Um, but he's on my back and we look so happy. Um, Reese lived with me until like last year and now he's going to college. Um, we've had some really tough times, Reese and I, but he, we've also had a lot of good laughs. He's very honest and he's brutally honest, but he can also be very sweet. He does, when he loves you, he loves you deep. He just has a hard time showing it. That's my boy, Reese. Look how happy he was. Oh, such a cutie booty. Look at this one. This is an unusual picture because these two don't like each other anymore. Um, I'm sure they love each other, but they're not very friendly with each other. I think they were walking down the road uh, in Oretta, and I think that's a beautiful scene right there. Reese looks like he's about three or four. He was a big boy. And Cheyenne looks like she's about eight. Let's see what the year is on this. There's no year. Um, so what it looks like we're going to do, because I have to guess here, it's if you see these flowers right here, every year about September, they're everywhere. 
So we would, every year we would go out and we would take these pictures in the flowers. And so I guess it was about two or three years. We had some really beautiful pictures of her and the flowers. And Reese was, you know, young and he came with us. But anyway, and see the shirt he's wearing? It was a Little Bill shirt. I don't know if you remember Little Bill, but it was a TV show on Nickelodeon. And uh, he loved that shirt. He wore it all the time. We always watch Little Bill. Um, here's a picture of me. I, I'm not sure which baby this is, <laughs> but I'm at the, uh, at the OB's office, uh, getting checked up, I guess, if that's even a word. And, um, and I don't know why I took this picture, but there I am at the OB's office getting checked up. It looks like I'm about to have a baby. Let's see if there's a date on the back. There is not. So anyway, me pregnant. This is me not pregnant. This is probably 1984 or 85, 86 it says. My dad and I were gonna go to, um, we're headed to Texas, to Astroworld, which was only two hours from the house, but for some reason that was always like the vacation. Please note the ashtray right here. <laughs> so there were ashtrays still at this time. These are American Express checks books right here which is hilarious as well um but anyway we're getting ready to go on the trip and i'm so excited and uh i am uh, how old am i in this 86 about 12 or 13 years old in this picture astroworld if you remember astroworld you might be old this is my dad and my stepmom jenny and this right here is my his father uh theophile if he heard me say his name like that, he would kill me. He didn't like his name at all. He liked to be called Theo. Theo Leger, Albert James Leger. He also went by Jim. And Virginia Glasspool, she went by Jenny. They got married in 1987, I believe. Um, that was, you know, that my, my dad and I were, my dad was single from the time I was three or four years old to the time I was 14. So up until this very moment, it was just me and my dad. And we had some good times. Um, my dad was more like a brother sometimes than a dad, but he was a good dad and we had some good times. Um, I was always, whenever I was young, um, I was always at one of my grandparents' house. So I was either at, I was at, um, on the weekdays, I was at his mom's house, Lily and Papa's house. They were my mom and Papa is what I call them. And then on the weekends, I was at my ma maternal grandparents' house. And then on the weeknights, I was with my dad. So I was always, I had plenty of family when I was little. But this is the turning point for me. Once these two got married, my life changed. I moved out of um, the, the small town and all the family around me in with these two. And she had two children as well. And I just didn't really feel it fit into that family very well. And it was a very painful and confusing time for me. Um, but I think... Um, I think that those hard times kind of made me who I am. Uh, I do regret it, and I wish it would have been different, but it wasn't. So this is Jenny and Daddy. Daddy passed away in 2019. Here's two of my babies. This is Tristan and Cheyenne. <laughs> she looks like she's surprised, and Tristan looks like he's just so happy to see her. Sweet picture. Probably she looks like she's about less than one, so probably... 1998, 1999. Yeah, cutie booties. Look at this cutie booty. There's Tristan in his diaper. I don't know where these black and white pictures came from, but they are pretty. 1998. Here's an oldie. This is me and my dad and the cigarette. See right there? We, we go way back on this one. I was born in 1973, so this has to be somewhere in 73, 74 sitting beside my dad. Um, like I said, I, he was a, he was my hero, especially till I was about 14 years old. Ah, my grand, this is the Welsh parade. I'm not really sure what the parade was celebrating, um, but it was a time, I was about, I was in the first grade here. I remember distinctly being in the first grade and my grandmother made this dress and she made the umbrella as well. And it was just a big deal. They did my hair. I just remember it just being a big deal. And also I had to be in a, like a contest to win the something to be in this. So 
I won. And there I am on the back of the float waving at everyone. Man, I love those days. I liked being the center of attention my whole life. Oh. oh, look, here's another costume my grandmother made me. This was Halloween costume. It's hard to see because it's faded so well, so much. Uh, but first of all, the location of this is back in um, Ardwan Cove. Um, that's where my grandmother, my maternal grandparents lived. Um, this is my cousin Scott and my half-brother um, Guy. We call him Scooter, so you might hear me call him Scooter. And this is Jessica right here at the very edge of the picture. You can't see her. But they dressed me up like Raggedy Ann. And it was such a cute costume. And once again, I won the costume contest because my grandmother was the most creative person ever. She just, she could sew. She could cook. She could do everything. She was she was so talented. And I don't think know if she even knew how talented she was. Um, but anyway. That's me as Raggedy Ann. That's what the back says. Um, it just says Michelle Leger, that which is my main name and Halloween costume contest as Raggedy Ann. And there's Scooter and Scott and Jessica, who were my buddies. Because all my cousins were my buddies. They were like my brothers and sisters when I was growing up. Look at the color of that pickup truck. Oh, who would have bought that off of the dang lot? I think that's my Uncle Steven's truck. Um, this is my Uncle Steven's trailer. Um, back to this picture right here. It's right outside this house right here. So this is the backyard to that trailer. Um, so this is my Uncle GV, Guy Vincent. Um, he He's um, him. And this is my Aunt Pat, Patricia. She was a miller. She married a Bertrand. They ended up adopting my brother because my mom was not really able to, capable of taking care of um, him the way she should. This right here was my mom's soon-to-be husband. They were just about to get married or they had just had the wedding or something of that sort. He was, from the way the story is told, he wasn't that great of a guy. I think his name was Skip. I don't know. Um, but this is Uncle GV and this is Aunt Pat. They were my uh, godmother and my godmother and my godfather. So my mare and pare. If you're from Louisiana, you know what I mean. Um, and they have uh, recently, she recently passed. He, he passed away a few years ago. Um, there are stories there that, you know, <laughs> there's lots of stories. There's lots of stories. Um, I'm not going to go there. But anyway, here they are. And look at the color of that pickup truck. Gee whiz. Here's my dad and my stepmom. Um, so th this is after they got married. What year was this? 1986. Oh, it's actually before they got married because I got married in 1987. Um, um, so this is Jenny and dad. I'm not real sure where they're at. It looks like a state park somewhere. Um, my dad having his, um, <laughs> Miller High Life and Jenny's having something. I can't tell. Um, but anyway, there they are. They were so happily married for so many years. Um, I've never, I, it was good to see love like that whenever I was a kid. I hadn't seen he healthy love a lot. Remember how talented I told you my grandmother was? There you go. She made an Easter cake. I know it looks simply simple, but for that time, it was a big deal. It had coconut on it. And I, I actually kind of remember this cake. Um, it was an Easter cake, probably 1978-ish. Um, and uh, anyway, look how cute it is. So cute. I don't like coconut on cake anymore, though. Let's see what the, what's it say on the side? Mm, H for no, I don't know what that means. But anyway, there's a cake. She was so talented. Here is my grandmother Bertrand right here. And this is her brother, uh, Buddy Webster. He was kind of a, a celebrity in Welsh, Louisiana. So they made him the Grand Marshal one year. I'm not real sure exactly his story. I didn't know him that well. My grandmother was very private. She didn't talk a lot about her brothers and sisters and where she came from and how she became who she was. She was just so private about that. But there they are. And she's, you can't see her face, but I know her. And this look on her face, she's so glad to see him. And he's happy to see her too. I just think it's the sweetest thing. So sweet. Welsh, Louisiana. And we're almost done. I'm going to do one more picture and then we'll be done. This is my cousin, Karen Lee Launche. Yes, it's a very Cajun name. Um, 
she was me and her whenever we were growing up in the 80s together we were the best of friends um she taught me things and we were bad together and we had fun together and we learned things together we played all the time because like i said when i was a kid my cousins were like my brothers and sisters. So my grandmother, um, I would stay at my grandmother's house and they always lived like in the backyard or in the same property. So I always had someone to play with. And I'm going to tell you, she was, she was bad. <laughs> what I consider bad, she smoked, she drank, things of that sort, kind of young. And I was experimenting with sex, things like that. Sorry, Karen. Uh, but I was very, very curious and she told me a lot of stuff. So um, it, she was a good friend to me and I really miss those times we spent together. I don't, I think she's living in Colorado now. Um, I, she was, she came to my dad's funeral, but I don't keep in touch with the, the family as much as I should, but this is Karen Lee Lanche. Her mom is Kathy Leger. Um, I think she's a Kathy Brimer now and she's right now in 2023. She's living in Alabama. Look how cute she was. Look at that old blanket too. She's so cute. And lastly, this is an oldie, oldie, oldie. Um, I don't know the year. Oh, April 1958 is what it says right here on the top of the photo. I'm not sure who this person is. But the, from what I understand, this is Florine, which is my mother. And this is my uncle uh, Stephen who passed away in like 1998-ish, 99. And they're on bicycles. I'm thinking it's probably in Ardoin Cove. Those trees look very much like trees that would have been by the bayou. Uh, this little guy, he's driving one of those little tractor bikes, which is so cute. The other, she looks like she's on a tricycle, an old tricycle. And I'm, it looks like maybe he's on a tricycle as well. They were not very far in age. Uh, I think my mom... Florine and Stephen were only like 18 months apart. So they're pretty close in age. They grew up very, um, very close. Anyway, that's a great picture. I love the trees, the Louisiana trees in the back. All right, guys. So this picture right here, just because I'm using it as a background, my um, son-in-law, uh, Phoebe Cheyenne's husband, drew this probably in, oh, it looks like Cheyenne may have drawn this. This is Shy right here. So Cheyenne drew this back in like uh, I guess 2017. Um, this is her this is her version of her brother Reese, and this is her version of her little sister Elise. Um, I don't think I've shown many pictures of Elise yet. The bad thing about that is because Elise came around the time that cell phones started coming, so I don't have any real hard pictures of her. Um, so it's so strange how history happens. But hopefully I can I will dig one out so she can have a representation. She was born in 2006, and so I'm sure there's some pictures in here somewhere. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you.